Welcome. So in this video series, what I'm going to do is show you how to graph uh, a linear equation or a linear function, depending on what we're going to have, when it's in the format of ax squared. Well, actually, this would be a linear equation. ax squared plus bx plus or equals c. And this is what we're going to call our standard form. And it's going to be a little bit different than when we've been dealing with slope-intercept form. However, we are going to solve this in two different ways. One way is we're going to solve by using the x and y intercepts. And then the other way I'm going to show you is if we maybe are having trouble with the x, y intercepts, or maybe it's a little more difficult, we'll also learn a way how to convert it over back to slope intercept form. So therefore, we can graph it the method that we were used to last time by graphing slope intercept form. So the main, main important thing is, though, when you have something uh, that's in the standard form, I want to at least kind of address what we're going to do as far as uh, finding it in x, x, graphing it by using our x and y intercepts. So the main important thing I just want you to look at is if we were looking at a graph, all right, and let's just say we have a linear graph. We know that this linear graph is going to have an x and a y-intercept. And it's very, very important for us to understand that here's my y-axis and here's my x-axis. At this point where this graph crosses the y-axis, we know that the x value is going to be equal to 0, but we're going to have a y value. In, on, in, in the same thing, when we're looking at the x-intercept, we know that we're going to have an x value, but our y value is going to be 0. And that's very, very important. Because when I'm going to be graphing using my x and y-intercepts, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to determine what the x-intercept is and what the y-intercept is. And what I notice about the x-intercept is that y equals 0. And for the x-intercept, x equals 0. Right? When you look at the x or the y-intercept, you notice that the x value is equal to 0. And that's very important because what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, I'm sorry, ax plus by equals c. So that's going to be very important because what we're going to do is if I know y's value, or y equals 0 for the x-intercept, I'm going to plug 0 into this equation. So I'd have ax plus b times 0 equals c. So therefore, ax equals c. And then what I can do is, depending on what, what values I have for a and c, I'll be able to solve for x. The same exact thing now when x equals 0, I'm going to plug a 0 in for the x. Rosa, please report to the main office. Rosa, please report to the main office. I guess I can't control everything. So a times 0 plus by equals c. Therefore, I'll just, be have, I'll just have b times y equals c. Depending on what values I have for b, I'll be able to solve for the y, um, y intercept. So that's solving by the x and y intercept method. Um, the other method that we're going to look into is just going back to slope intercept form. So if I have an equation that's in ax plus by equals c, I'm going to want to convert it to y equals mx plus b. And the one thing you need to notice between these two equations is here, I have my x and y variables on the same side, where in this equation, I have my y variable isolated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use inverse operations and my methods for solving a literal equation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate by using my inverse operations to solve for y. Now, I know I don't have my values in here, but we'll solve a little linear. We'll solve a, uh, we'll solve a literal equation. So therefore, I'm usually going to subtract my ax to the other side. So that'll be left with by equals c minus ax. And then I'll divide by b. Now. This all depends on exactly what are your values, or what values we're going to have. All right, now this is always going to be different. It's always going to depend on what values we have for a and b. However, I just want to at least go through the process, or at least with the formulas, so that you can see them. And now what I'll do is I'll get into some exact examples, so you can see how I do this using my x and y intercepts and how I'll do this by, salt, by uh, converting to slope-intercept form. Thanks.